Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hold My Nugget Studios as the Oregon Ducks take on the Wisconsin Badges in your 2020 Rose Bowl game highlight commentary. Justin Herbert would meticulously and methodically matriculate his team down the field and he'd have the side ducks inside the period colored zone and he'd disregard one defender, go into the end zone for the Ducks touchdown. Aflac, motherfucker. That's how a white man runs a football, bitch. But on the ensuing kickoff, Aaron Cruitshank would showcase his education not only from Wisconsin, but from Devon Hester University with a PhD in Joshua Cribb studies as he tightrope like Janelle Monet down the sideline and he's headed towards the end zone. Don't ever touch me, you fucking duck. Touchdown, Wisconsin. We've got a tie game at seven, and the Oregon defense ain't even touched the field. Unhand me, scoundrel. Here come the ducks. Herbert looking over the middle. Pass intercepted. The Badgers have the football inside the 30. Herbert getting his daily dose of the Ray Charles challenge. He ain't even see him. That set up a Badger field goal from 44 yards out. They take a 10-7 lead. Following drive. Look at the motion man. Look at the motion man. <laughs> he never saw the defender coming. That's hilarious. Poor ACLs though. Three plays later, third and 19. Justin Herbert takes the snap, steps towards his left. He's looking to go deep, and he throws the ball to... Ensuing drive for the Badgers, Jack Cohen would find his man who must have been in Sanctum during Infinity War because he was completely unguarded for the first down. Same drive we'd into the second quarter, but they'd be participating in the Frank Costanza Challenge because they needed eight, they only got seven. Mm, I stopped short. That set up a 49-yard Wisconsin field goal, but watch out for that far fetch! Those goddamn flying Pokemon, they're even attacking kids! Following an Oregon three and out, here come the Badgers, baby. Both fingers fumble on the play, recovered by the Psyducks, and it'd be returned back to the line of scrimmage. Look, guys, I got the ball. I got it. Looks like somebody's balls may have hit the cervix because it squirted out of there. Hey, did you know the Ducks also watch Seinfeld? Because on fourth and one, they'd be participating in the Frankenstanza challenge as well because... I stopped short. Ensuing Badger drive. Jack Cohen's got a man. Yoink. But he plays for the other team. This man's eyes must be for decoration. He threw it straight to the defender. He must love Nike. Then again, there should have been illegal hands to the face. And Justin Herbert would do his best impersonation of a student loans agency as he'd make them pay as he'd advance the Ducks deep into Wisconsin territory. And he'd use his legs again, disregard Wisconsin badges, and go into the end zone for his second rushing touchdown on the day. Did you think he could just throw? Did you forget he's white? Because... That's how a white man runs a football, bitch. The Badgers find themselves trailing once again. Jack Cohen would pick up the first down. Now inside Ducks territory. Cohen looking towards the end zone. He'd find Quintel Cyphers who would get molested on the play but still finds a way to catch the football. He's going to be down at the one. Laundry on the field. Pass interference on the defense. Those fucking Ducks keep trying to put their insurance on everybody. And although the defensive pass interference will be enforced, it turns out that motherfucker ain't catch the pass. It's incomplete. Quintez Cypher says, all right, you take my catch off the board. I'll just put a touchdown on the board, pussy. Fuck the Ducks, as the Badgers would take a three-point lead. Weed into the second half. Cypher still rubbing his nutsack. Look at the truck stick. You want another one? Come at me, bro. Number 35 don't have to go to class no more. Don't worry about your college degree. We're cutting your scholarship. You got to go back home now, buddy. How the hell do you fumble this? Holy shit. It's scooped up by Oregon. They take it into the end zone and they regain the lead on a very bizarre fumble by the Wisconsin punter. If any porn star did this, they would be fired on sight. How can't you handle balls? Revoke his meal plan. He's not allowed to go to the food court this weekend. Oh no. You fumble like this in the Rose Bowl, you'll be lucky if we allow you to eat oxygen. Easy touchdown for Oregon. It was a breeze. Wink, wink. Ensuing drive for the Badgers, third and five. Quintez Cyphus is a grown man. Somebody check his ID card. Turns out somebody didn't pay the cable bill. There would be no Frank Costanza challenge, but Jonathan Taylor would carry multiple ducks deep into duck territory. Get me on the phone with number six's parents because he needs an easy pass. He paid about six different tolls going 18 yards on this man's back. 
Get him a pacifier and a pair of diapers. Homie got put into a Bjorn. Now in the period colored zone, Wisconsin would put points on the board and regain the lead. Next badge's possession, Quintez Cyphers would turn into deodorant as he'd go under the arms of the defender and pick up a badge of first down. And that set up a field goal attempt for Wisconsin. Kick through the uprights. It's good. Six point lead for the badges. Here come the Ducks, baby. Herbert takes the snap. Boris hit! Following another Oregon punt, Jonathan Taylor really out here looking like Misty because he's carrying Ducks where Wherever he goes, another big time first down for the Badgers. But it appears that the Badger must have went into the garbage and found some chocolate. Some butterfingers fumble on the play, recovered by the Ducks, and they're going to be at the 30-yard line. Bruce Jenner challenge. Homie did not try to hold on to his ball. And on the very next play from scrimmage, the Wisconsin Badgers would learn what the natives would. You can't trust a white man on the ground as Justin Herbert would go into the end zone and give the Ducks a one-point lead. Although they may be a little bit of a kerfuffle, a little bit of a brouhaha inside the end zone. It doesn't stop the fact that... That's how a white man runs a football, bitch. And it turns out Abuela, who runs the laundromat, is not in town on this play because there'd be no laundry on the field. Butterfingers on second and three in Oregon would not be able to advance the football. The Ducks being forced to punt Wisconsin under five minutes left to play. Chance to take the lead on the punt for... Ah! God damn, call him a Baghdad airport. He just got blown up. Under three minutes left to play. Third and 20. Cohen going deep. He's got a man. But he plays for the other team. Pass intercepted by the Ducks, but the referees say, wait a minute, it was all again. The application to the five toes down challenge was denied. Although there was no interception, Wisconsin would be forced to punt. Oregon only needs a first down to put the game away, and that's exactly what they would get. Look at the defender step on a banana. This man's feet is a bigger turncoat than Benedict Arnold because that would cost the Wisconsin Badgers a chance to get the stop with no timeouts remaining as the Oregon Ducks would be your 2020 Rose Bowl game champions. But for the Wisconsin Badgers, it turns out they can't scavenge for food. They scavenging for L's as they take out their Metro cards. And uh, get aboard the L train. Why aren't you following me? Why haven't you subscribed already? You don't hear this shit? I'm hilarious. What the hell's wrong with y'all? What's wrong with y'all? Oh, what's on? I pound you so hard there'll be nothing left of you. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, huh? Can't beat me! Here! Yeah. Tell me sure to visit your grave! Over here!